Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. Basically, for every one foot of water that drops into this pump, it can lift an additional seven feet out. It's pretty amazing. A question was asked, if your creek has a lot of sharp turns and bends, is it better to stretch and bend that PVC pipe around that curve, or is it better to use fittings like 90 degree and 45? Let's go find out. Let's say in order to get the head pressure you need, you've got to come out of your source waterfall, down a pipe, make a sharp 90 here, come around the creek this way, and then meet another 45 or a 90 here to get to where the ram pump needs to be. So the first test we're gonna do is just kind of bend the PVC pipe around to say that it's bending around this curve here and then try to bend it again over to the pump and we will time the cycles and get the pressure and then we will come back with fittings and make this turn and the other turn and do the same where we time the cycles and get the pressure to see which one is better or if it matters at all. So for our first turn, I'm gonna to try to get this to scoot over here a bit and just see what we can do with bending this PVC. It's not ideal. And the larger your pump is gonna be, the bigger the pipe. So it's gonna be more cumbersome. All right, so we kinda of got a sweeping 90 there. Let's go to the other side and get that piece installed. Okay, see if I can get this other piece hooked up here. Okay, let's call this our ram pump home here. Go ahead and get this connected. Ram pump is here. We've got a 90 degree turn here, another 90 degree turn right there, and then up to our bucket. So let's go ahead and turn on the source water here, and that will allow us to fill the pipe. Okay. And let's sneak back around here. It's not uh, out of the ordinary for a creek to do this kind of movement. Okay. I will need to purge any air that's in this line. This is a 60 foot drive pipe. I'm gonna go ahead and get the pump started and as soon as it starts, I will begin the timer. We'll count the cycles and then check the end pressure. Two, three, four, five. We'll do this for one minute. Okay. We had 50 cycles in one minute. And the pressure has gotten up to 56 PSI right there. Very nice. Now, let's reset this test and purge the pressure out. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and put in our 90s to see how well that's going to perform with this pump. So we'll come right up here to this location first, and we will put a 90 in right there, and then we will come down here to the other bend in the creek, and we will put a 90 in right there. Okay, go ahead and get this 90 placed in here. Two hours later. Oh, yeah. Use this longer piece here. Hope this one comes out easier. <clears throat> nope. Man, this pipe. Uh, no PVC cement required, huh? Either that or I've got the quarantine body and don't have the strength to get this open. 
Okay, there we go. Water comes down source bucket like it did before. 20 foot piece of pipe makes a 90 degree right there. Another 20 foot section of pipe has a 90 right there and then comes down to the pump. So we will see if this will exceed or not exceed the 56 PSI and 50 cycles. Reset my timer, get the air purged out of here. Almost got you wet on that one. All right, seems pretty good. Once again, a one minute timer when this thing starts cycling. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. That means there's air in the system. We're gonna have to restart our test. Okay, it took a while, but I got the air purged out of that line. Let's go ahead and reset this. Okay. And once again, when it starts to cycle on its own, I will start the timer. Three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect timing. At uh, one minute and 37 cycles, the uh, drive pipe burst right there at that 90. So perfect. All right, 37 cycles, and the pressure got up to 60. Nice. So, wow, that's great. Fascinating results. I was not expecting that. So having the 90s on the drive pipe slowed down the cycle times and increased the pressure. So in the first test, we had 50 cycles and 56 PSI. Second test, we had 39 cycles and 60 PSI. Fascinating. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can get more ram pump testing in the future. Also, write a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what's going on here in this setup. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.